Happy Knitters and welcome back to my channel. So I'm kind of filming at night here so if the lighting is a little bit off that's probably why. So if you are a returning subscriber thanks for coming back and if you're new to my channel thanks for checking it out and if you like what you see please like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos from me. So in today's tutorial we're going to talk about the uh, I'm going to talk about the Santa hat. This is a pattern from Cascade Yarns. I hope you guys can see that. Um, it's called the Magnum Santa hat and I absolutely enjoyed knitting it. Um, it was a very quick knit because it uses super bulky yarn and who doesn't love a Santa hat, right? So here is the hat that I knit. Um, I used a cranberry color and an off-white uh, fisherman color so that it would kind of give more of the vintage um, Santa hat look and, all, and it also features a cute little pom-pom which I think is adorable. I did knit the larger size for this and I have a, a 20, 23 inch circumference and it's still a little bit large for me so if your, so I'm sorry, if your circum, circumference of your head is a little bit smaller than that then I would suggest that you go with the smaller size that is the small to medium pattern. So anyway, if you guys want to learn how to knit this pattern, please stay tuned. Thank you. So the pattern that I'm going to be using today is the Cascades yarn pattern and it's the Magnum Santa hat B181. The supplies you'll need for this pattern are going to be two skeins of super bulky weight yarn. I use the colors Fisherman and Cranberry, a pair of scissors, tape measure, size 15 circular and double pointed needles, a tapestry needle, stitch marker, and a row counter which is optional. So you will start out casting on either 44 or 48 stitches depending upon the size of the hat that you want to knit. I will say that my head measures 23 inches in uh, circumference and I knitted the large size by casting on 48 stitches and I will say that it was a little on the large size side. I'm sorry. So if you've got um, a diameter um, that's smaller than 23 inches, I would suggest that you cast on the 44 stitches. So I'm using the long tail cast on method. So I will link a, a video above if you need a tutorial or a quick refresher course on how to do the long tail cast on. So now I'm done casting on the 48 stitches for my particular size hat. And it is important that you make sure that you have cast on the correct number of stitches before you join them in the round. So here I'm just making sure that my stitches are not twisted. That's important when we're getting ready to knit a hat in the round. So we're going to start out with making the brim or the rim of the hat. And we want to first start by placing a stitch marker on our needle so that we can mark the beginning of the round for the hat. So in order to join your work in the round, you're going to take the right hand needle and insert it into the first stitch on the left hand needle and that will join your work together. And we're just going to knit two and purl two for the entire row and we're going to come back and do that until we have completed three inches for the ribbing of the hat. So I'm going to speed this up for you guys so that we can get to the end of this row and I'll come back after I've knitted the three inches. And I am back. So I've knitted the three inches that the pattern has called for. And as you can see, the ribbing is now complete. So now the pattern calls for you to knit the next row. And that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to knit every stitch on this next row. It's pretty simple. So 
So now we've come to the end of our knitted round. So now it's time for us to get ready to do our color change. So we need to grab our red yarn so that we can get started. So now we're gonna change the color to red and we're either going to knit three and a half inches if we're knitting the small and medium size pattern or we're gonna knit four inches if we're using the large pattern, which I'm doing for this particular tutorial. So to change your color, you're gonna grab your red yarn and you're still gonna insert the right needle as if you're going to knit. And you're just gonna basically take that red yarn and loop it over the needle and leave about maybe six inches of tail on that. And you're gonna pull it through as if it was a normal knit stitch. Now you're going to drop the tail and just make sure that you are working with the, the ball, the, the yarn that's coming from the ball. And you are literally just going to continue to knit all the way around. So you have successfully changed colors for this round. And when we get to the end of the round, I'll show you what to do with the loose ends for the, yellow, the white yarn and the red yarn. So as we come to the end of the first round where we have done the color change, you'll notice that you still have the white yarn attached. So I would cut about, I would leave about six inches of tail and, and cut the yarn there. And then what I like to do is take the two ends, the red yarn and the white yarn, and I like to tie them together and snug them up so that there's not a gap in my work. And then we'll come back at the end of the project and we'll take care of, of those two ends. But just kind of, like I said, give them a good snug and that way that tightens up your work and you can continue knitting. So just continue to knit in the red color for the size pattern that you are using. It will either be the three and a half inches or the four inches. And I'll see you back here when I'm done. And with the magic of video, I am back. So I have knitted the four inches um, that, I, that the pattern calls for. And you, if you're using a smaller size, of course, will be the three and a half inches. Now it's time for us to start our decreases. There'll be two sets of decreases in this entire pattern, but this is the first set of decreases. And the decreases are very easy on this pattern. You're gonna decrease the first uh, two stitches and you're gonna decrease the last two stitches. And this is going to be throughout the entire pattern. It's not going to be a normal decrease uh, that you would have for uh, a normal hat since this hat is going to come to a point and you want to lay a certain way. The decreases are done a little bit differently, but like I said, they're super easy because you're going to decrease the first two stitches and then you're going to decrease on the last two stitches. So here we are. So make sure that you don't forget to decrease those last two stitches. And then the next part of the pattern just tells you to knit the next two rows. So you're gonna knit two even rows before you do the next set of decreases. So I have completed one decrease and now I'm going to start on the second decrease, but I'm going to go ahead and switch to double pointed needles. So unless you're using the magic loop method, then you are going to have to at some point during this pattern switch to double pointed needles. So I have decided to do that on the second decrease, but you can switch to double pointed needles anytime during the pattern where you feel that your stitches are no longer uh, uh, able to slide easily over the needle. So I'm starting the second decrease and of course, once again, you're going to knit the first two stitches together, knit all the way around to the last two stitches and knit those two stitches together. So your decreases are going to be for a total of five decreases 
and at the end of your five decreases you will either have 34 stitches or 38 depending upon what size you're knitting for the pattern also just a quick note so when you're switching to double pointed needles for this pattern just arrange your stitches to where they're pretty much even on each of the needles they don't have to be perfect as far as the number of stitches for each needle just know that um, for your first needle and your fourth needle those are the needles that you're going to be doing the decreases on so just keep that in mind when you're arranging your your stitches so now I have completed transferring my stitches to double pointed needles I will continue to work in the pattern for the decreases and knitting of the even rows and I will see you back here after we've we're down to the correct number of stitches so now we are ready to start our second set of decreases and they are pretty much the same as the first set of stitches the only difference is you instead of knitting two even rows after a decrease you will be knitting one even row and as you can see um, I placed a stitch marker at the beginning of the round I forgot to tell you that earlier if it makes it easier for you to know where the the rounds begin make sure you put a stitch marker and remember that on your first needle and your fourth needle those are where the decreases are going to happen and you're going to have fewer stitches on those needles than you do on needles two and three so eventually you're going to have to rearrange your stitches because your needles one and four will start to have fewer and fewer stitches on them and as you can see by the shape of the hat we're getting smaller and smaller as we go and now that we're no longer knitting two even rows between the decreases the hat will start to decrease at a faster rate so now it's time for us to finish up our last set of decreases they're pretty much the same as the decreases we did earlier we're going to start by knitting the first two stitches together and then knitting the last two stitches together and then on the next row is we're just going to knit all the way around and then we start the next set of decreases we will continue this in pattern until we have four stitches left and that is when we will cut the yarn and pull the yarn through those last uh, four stitches and finish up the hat So just continue knitting in pattern and I will see you back here after we have decreased after you have decreased down to your four stitches. Well, congratulations. We are down to our last four stitches. So grab a pair of scissors. Let's cut the yarn, leaving about a probably an eight inch tail. And now we're going to thread our tapestry needle and basically take those, take the uh, last few stitches off of the needle. So ignore the fact that there are three stitches left on the needle when I pull the first two together I accidentally wrap that last one around there so it's not technically supposed to be there so now we want to go ahead and weave in that tail so I would suggest you just putting your hand through the hat and then grabbing the tapestry needle and sliding that yarn or threading that yarn through the top of the hat and pulling through to the underside of, of the hat and just weaving it in, weaving in your ends. Mm -hmm. 
This hat is very long, so it seemed like it took me forever to get to the end of the yarn, but try to get as close to the tip of the hat as possible, and then just weave in the yarn um, as best as you can. So now that we have pretty much finished up the tip of the hat, let's go ahead and cut the yarn. So our next priority is to go ahead and finish up the loose ends of the yarn where we tied them together. I personally like to go ahead and uh, put a knot or in, in my work. Um, I know some people frown upon that, but I don't have an issue with it. So I'm going to knot this up really well and then basically take the ends of the yarn and weave those into the hat where they're not uh, seen. So we have one more finishing detail and that is the tail that is left over from where we cast on for the hat. So we'll do the exact same thing as uh, thread our needle and weave in those ends. And we are done with the main body of the hat. As you can see, it has a slight tilt to it, or I'm sorry, a slight slant to it, but that's gonna be give you the effect of the fold over flap for the hat. And the last thing that we have to do is attach the pom-pom. So I took the liberty of making the pom-pom off of camera because I didn't want this video to be too long. But if you need a tutorial on how to make a pom-pom, just let me know down in the comments below. But this particular pom-pom I've already shaped up and I've got two leading tails from the pom-pom. I'm going to thread each, each uh, one of those tails through the needle and basically thread it through the tip of the hat. And as you'll see in just a moment, I'll go ahead and tie those two together and knot those on the inside of the hat. So now just be sure to cut the tails off of the pom-pom. You don't have to get close to the base of the pom-pom because this part of the hat is just the fold over part. So you are basically now done with your hat. And look how cute it looks. I have absolutely enjoyed making this video for you. I hope you have enjoyed watching it. Please like and subscribe and I will see you on the next tutorial. Thanks.